Okay, we're going to take a few minutes and do an isometric and multi-view drawing of this particular shape. If you just wanted to see what the finished object looks like, go ahead and just take a moment, pause the video, and compare your result. If you need a little bit more help going step by step through how this is actually going to be made, go ahead and watch the rest of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the isometric. Uh, I'm going to start with my point of origin which for me will be right about there. And this shape goes three up, goes two over, goes three down, <coughs> and then we just close the square. Now from there goes three over, uh, two out, And then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like so. And then one, two, three, four, five, six up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like so. Two over. Uh, four back. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there. Okay, now back to this. I need to connect this line, like so. And then it's two in from here and then connect that line, just like that. Now connect the outside, and let's see, goes two in from here, connect the straight, and then that shape right there. Okay, so that gives us our isometric drawing. Now we have to do multi-view. And I am going to say this is going to be my side, top, front. So just move this over, and I'm going to start with my point of origin over here on the left. I'll put my point of origin right there. And the base of this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 long. So make a line nine long. Then it's six tall. Okay, that's that line. Then it goes two in. Okay, that is that right there. But the lines continued as well. So it's actually two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, uh, it goes three up, and then has the angled piece right there, but it also has this edge as well. So that is at our two mark, see, one, two, right here, and that goes to three back, so to there. So that is the front view of that object. Now next, using the um, construction lines, which are just very, very light lines to transfer all the shapes. My construction lines aren't touching the object lines, it's important to note. I'm going to start with point of origin, which I'm going to put right there. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it looks like I forgot to transfer that detail up, which is why I didn't see it. There we go. Okay, so this line, object line, will go right there, corresponding with this feature. Uh, the object is four wide. Okay, so that's that back edge. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which will correspond to this line right here. Just like that. Um, but it also runs to the end, just like so. This portion is too wide. So it's going to be right there. And then you have the line going across here. And then you have your line that closes the shapes like that. Um, now lastly, we need this portion and that line. So if we check this out, this is too wide, just like so. And then it goes down to here. And we have to erase the lines that don't actually belong there. I'm going to erase my construction lines just to make sure that they're not touching uh, my object lines. Okay, make sure we've got all the features actually laid out, which we do. And now it's time for the other view. Same thing, using our construction lines right here. Make sure that they're not touching the object lines. And transfer over all the features that you're working with. I'm going to make the right-hand side because it goes from bottom to top right there that will be the outside line the next it's two in and it runs from bottom to top just like so and then there's two more that run from bottom to top okay so that's this plane that plane uh, we have our detail in the middle now we need to mark that detail we need to close the shape off. And erase the lines that don't belong there. Okay. Um, it looks like everything is well represented. This is what the multi-view drawing of this shape is actually supposed to look like. So stop this video, rewind it, and replay it as many times as you need to actually get the concept.